Well, dangerous confrontations between Iranian and American warships up by more than 50 percent this year. That according to a defense official who tells Fox News that there were 26 Iranian provocations in the first half of this year alone, plus four incidents this week. Four Iranian ships came within 300 yards of, USS, of a U.S. destroyer. That was back on Tuesday, and just a day later, an American ship was forced to fire three warning shots at an Iranian boat, which came within 200 yards. Joining me now, retired Major General Robert Scales, former commandant of the U.S. Army War College and a Fox News military analyst. He's also author of the new book, Scales on War, the Future of America's Military at Risk. General, I always love talking to you. This, this <laughs> is, I, I mean, I went back and I was kind of digging around. Ronald Reagan in 1988 did something called Praying Mathis. They were doing the right. same sort of thing. Ronald right. Reagan uh, blasted, destroyed two Iranian oil rigs, uh, sank four boats and a frigate. He basically said, we have to let them know not to mess with us. A little bit yeah, different you know, this time. Well, it's entirely different because uh, the guy that's going to pull the trigger uh, is not Ronald Reagan. Uh, remember now, during praying Mattis, the Iranian Navy lost about half its strength over a uh, over a couple of week period. And and what I guess most Americans are angry about is that you have this you have this 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 little rat kicking the leg of the giant, and the giant's not doing anything. I don't know what the rules of engagement are, Tom, but uh, I would hope next time these little uh, speedboats get too close to an American destroyer, they put about 20, uh, 25 millimeter rounds into this thing, uh, blow it up, take the Iranian Navy guys captured, put them on the decks of an American destroyer on their knees with their hands behind their heads, just exactly like they did to our sailors a few months ago, and maybe even ask for a $400 million ransom. I don't know. But it's, I'm just, I think most Americans are getting sick and tired of this fifth-rate Navy made up of a bunch of incompetents kicking our Navy in the shin. Uh, I realize that the rules of engagement are ambiguous, but maybe it's time for us to act, Tom. And this is, uh, it's not just any water. We're talking about very important right. oil shipping lanes that would be critical to the world's oil supplies. But uh, it was also, which, which, forget the, the money angle, the USS Cole. 17 sailors yep. died because a little dinky boat rolled up next to it and blew a hole in the thing. So yeah, that, yeah, that, that's that's just unbelievable. And and here's the thing, uh, we have the entire fifth fleet sitting there. Uh, we uh, they have the the most vulnerable part of the Iranian Navy right across the, the Straits of Hormuz at Bandar Abbas. They're completely vulnerable to a strike by the U.S. Navy. Uh, maybe if we fought back, the Iranians wouldn't be quite so bold and wouldn't threat the, uh, the threaten the Straits as they do today. Remember, almost 50 percent of the world's oil passes through that strait. It's time for the United States Navy to stand up and thump these guys once and for all. Let's switch geography a little bit. And I'm not, I'm not going to, I promise, General, I won't drag you uh, into the political <laughs> world. But um, Donald Trump's gotten a lot of criticism for even talking about, let's see if we can have a relationship with Putin. Now we find out that John Kerry is meeting with Lavrov, the, the Russian foreign minister, yeah. about some sort of joint agreement to work on Syria, the Middle East, what do you think? Yeah. Well, wow. I mean, uh, this is important, Tom. This could be a window of opportunity for the United States. Several things are swinging our way. First of all, uh, ISIS has been weakened, particularly in Iraq, if not so much in Syria. ISIS overreached in Turkey, as you know, uh, with those horrible atrocities they committed uh, a few months ago. This, this aborted coup has made the president of Turkey nervous about where his future lies. And uh, only last week, the Turkish army has rolled an entire battalion of tanks into Syria. And what's so interesting, Tom, is the Kurds got out of the way. So maybe we're at a point where we could create this sort of unholy coalition, if you will, between Russia, Saudi Arabia, Turkey, the United States, most importantly, Turkey. No coalition is possible against ISIS unless Turkey plays along. But given what's happened over the last couple of months, perhaps that's Perhaps that's a that's a possibility, Tom. So strange bedfellows, even oh, uh, you bet, even in the world of the military. All right. Yeah. Thank you, Major General Bob Scales. Great to see you. Thank you so much. Th thanks, Tom.